Hi everybody, my name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube and you cannot tell if my voice is synced or not, but it is. <laughs> if you record on a separate audio recorder, you have to sync that up with the video. Well, let's take a look at the best ways to do that in DaVinci Resolve, shaboo! All right, so I have some clips here from a vlog. We have the video and then we have some separate audio. So we can certainly just drag this to the timeline and we have our on-camera audio here, including camera noise. This is the... Right? This particular audio isn't actually too bad, but you know, not ideal. So if we want to sync this up with audio that we've recorded at the same time on a better microphone, we just grab the clip that we know lines up with it. And then it's really not too hard, especially if you slated, which is just making a really sharp sound like a clap or a snap. At the beginning, you see they kind of come up like this. And an easy thing to do is just cut your audio track so you can move it around and just line it up. You can zoom in as far as you want and then just line this up right where it happens in the audio. The only downside to this would be if you have a camera that is naturally out of sync, like the audio that is recorded in camera is out of sync, you would still have to adjust that. But most of the time this works great and then we can mute our first track and now we have, that's cause there should be a place for everything and everything in its place. We have our sync audio and that totally works. We could take this and hold down alt and hit up on the keyboard and add that to our track instead of our bad audio and I'll switch my track type to mono, and now. That's cause there should be a place for everything and everything in its place. And now we have everything looking good. In fact, if we wanted to be real cool, we could select both of these and right click and select link clips. What that'll do is just treat this like its own thing. You ever be looking for some? And we can cut it and mess with it and it stays in sync. Pretty cool, right? Now, in Resolve, we have a very cool thing that will do all of this automatically. Check this out. As long as we know which clip and which piece of audio go together, these are all shot in order, you can select the audio and the video in the media pool, right click on one of them, and go down to Auto Sync Audio based on waveform. Check this out. I'll click this, it'll analyze it, and it looks like nothing happened, but check this out. If I drag this down into the timeline, it just replaced our bad audio with our good audio and linked them up all together, all at once. Everything that we just did. It's cause there should be a place for everything and everything in its place. Everything that we just did manually, it does automatically. Isn't that amazing? I can take this second one with the track that's associated with it. Auto sync based on waveform. Last one with the audio that lines up with that. Auto sync based on waveform. And now we have all of our footage with our good audio added in. Pretty simple. So sinky. It was so sinky. It was like the Titanic. It was so sinky. Titanic joke. Nice. That's in good taste. People died on that. That sucks. I feel like there was more room on that board though, right? Here's more about editing and resolve. 